Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Career Mode here today for part 29 for the Qatar Grand Prix. Before we get to that, we've got to do the Qatar Sprint. We've already done qualifying, we're starting P3, so let's go to the Sprint Race. So it is all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position. Charles Leclerc alongside. Considering the rest of the grid we have, Brown, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Gasly, Russell, Sainz, Stroll, Perez, Joe, Magnussen, Ocon, Bottas, De Vries, Albon, Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Liam Lawson, Sargent, the reserve driver, and Enzo Fittipaldi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. We need a good result today if we want to catch Russell in the Drivers' Championship. For once, Mark is bang on. We do need a good result after two non-scores in a row at Monza. And last time out, when we created that massive crash at Suzuka. But this is our qualifying lap then. We went purple sector one, purple sector two. We came up to the line, but it wasn't enough. And we start the sprint P3. So, let's go then to the sprint race yeah, we are racing for the Qatar sprint and we've got a fairly decent start we're in the slipstream of Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes we're going to go to the outside now and try the line round the outside with nearly been jumped by Fernando Alonso in the Aston Martin and now the two Mercedes and the Ferrari will to will Hamilton and Leclerc we're trying to find any scraps we can to try and get into P2 Maybe even P1, we run a little bit wide though, going through that section of track. But it's Hamilton and by Leclerc, by us, by Fernando Alonso, the exact same top four as was on the grid. It's become towards the end of lap four, we were struggling for pace and Fernando Alonso after getting closer and closer to us is going to go to the inside. He's on the mediums as we go round the outside and stay ahead. Lewis Hamilton's got great pace, he is leaving us for dust, we're just about staying in touch with Leclerc, or he was, because by the end of lap 5, Leclerc started to stretch his legs, and the Ferrari, the other Ferrari of Carlos Sainz's engine, has gone bang then, and he's slowing down, looking for somewhere to pull over to the side of the track, and he's going into the middle of the track, what is he doing, and Logan Sargent now coming down the wheel, has hit him, He's in the back of the Ferrari. Carlos Sainz driving around in the middle of the road with a smoking engine has wiped out of Williams and brought out the safety car here at the Qatar Sprint Race. And what's under the safety car is all kicking off because Nick De Vries in the Haas. His engine's gone as well. So two Ferrari engines going in the space of a few laps. On to lap seven now. And the race is getting back underway. Hamilton leads from Leclerc, from us, from Alonso, from Lando Norris. As now we head down the very long back straight, pit straight. We're getting closer and closer and closer to the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. We can't get close enough. But this may be our only opportunity to go forward in the sprint. As we're right on the back of the Ferrari now and we go through the King. What is a great camera angle. But Hamilton and Leclerc paced away again. And this is Fernando Alonso and Lando Norris having a pop at us. Alonso to the inside. We're going to hold it around the outside once, once again. Alonso this time being a bit more racy. But we keep him behind once more again. As now we run a bit wider and Alonso is a power inside. Alonso is a power inside. We try and hold it around the outside. This is George now further back. We need a good result in this week compared to him. And we might just get that because George has lit up the rear tyres and spun round. And now it's reversing back into the gravel for some random reason. And George has gone from points to slipping all the way down to the back 
of the sprint. I'm uh, not complaining because that's quite good for us. We're currently on for a good amount of points as we go wide the final and tenth lap and the final corner and force Fernando Alonso wide who have the DRS and Alonso getting closer and closer and closer and up to the line he's beats us on the line. We start the race P4. So the only difference then, the top four all the same, just us getting beat by Alonso. George is going to have a very long Sunday as well. We don't seem to have the pace this weekend, but we need something from this race. So let's go into it. Welcome to Laseo International Circuit, still making its history in the early stages of its period on the Formula One calendar. It's time for the Qatar Grand Prix. Sail International was built for two wheels, but today we race on four. It's a fast flowing track, 3.3 miles, 16 turns, just the one DRS zone, but it is a long straight and you can expect overtaking. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Brown, Norris, Gasly, Perez, Stroll, Ocon, Joe, Verstappen, Bottas, Magnussen, Oscar Piastri, Liam Lawson, Fittipaldi, the reserve driver, Russell, Albon, Sargent, Sainz, and Nick de Vries rounds off the grid. Well, it lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Brown. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. So we're here on the grid then, and it's your usual one-stopper, starting on the softs, going to the mediums. I think we're going to struggle for pace today, but we shall see. I think the key thing is to get a good start here because I don't okay, think we're going to have the there. pace nice to That's stick with these in front as we just saw cross. from the sprint. But here we go then to the Qatar Grand Prix. It's Hamilton v Leclerc once again and we are racing here in Qatar. We've got in the sweet field of the Ferrari. We're already past Fernando Alonso just about as we go steaming into turn one. Trying to go round the outside of the top two. We've got past the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. Now we're on the back of Lewis Hamilton. We've gained two positions at the start here. Leclerc trying to find a way back past. But we're looking forward hopefully. We're front a bit wide so Leclerc's going to get back up our inside. We leave him the space but he backs out of it. And by the end of lap one, Hamilton started to get away. Leclerc is now side by side of us Alonso's lost out to Norris and now he's battling his teammate as we're battling Leclerc at the inside goes Leclerc we hold it around the outside that gives us the inside line for the next corner so we're coming towards the end of lap two now through the final kink as we approach the final corner Lewis Hamilton is getting away Lando Norris has joined the battle down the inside of us goes Charles Leclerc we try and hold it around the outside but now it's going to be a drag race but both of them behind, Norris and Leclerc, are going to have DRS, so we're going to be a sitting duck, we're trying anything, we're going to block off Lando, we're going to keep it pinned around the outside of turn one of Leclerc, we've done this time and time again, not only in this race so far, but in the sprint as well, down the inside goes Leclerc at the final corner once again, but now Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso are joining the battle and he's copy and paste the lap before but this time it's going to be even more costly we've lost out to Lando we're going to try and keep the place from the cloud the cloud's a bit further up the road now but we're still going to keep the pin around the outside but we didn't, Lando has gone and we're being mugged once again at the final corner we've pushed Leclerc wide is lost out to Alonso and Lance Stroll and now we're side by side with Fernando Alonso who's overtook us there now to the outside it's a bit personal after beating us on the line but we can't keep the pin round the outside and Alonso is through and we're starting to go 
back like an absolute stone. A bit like the very first race of this career mode, all the way back in Bahrain. When we were just getting mugged left, right and centre, down the inside. Goes Sir Lancelot on us. And we've got absolutely no pace on these soft tyres. We're struggling so much on lap. Five. As we come towards the end, this is Pig Gasly now having a go at us. I thought we'd be fighting for the lead, we're not as the Red Bulls are going wheel to wheel now. Sergio Perez and Pierre Gasly going wheel to wheel. We're just about sticking to the back of the Aston Martin of Lance Stroll. Oh, he was because on to lap seven. Here comes Pierre Gasly now, absolutely rocking it past us. We're going to try and keep the outside line, but he's too far up the road and gets ahead. And this is not fun, and this is a mugging and a half. Because now through goes Sergio Perez into turn one. We're going to try and keep the line around the outside, but Perez forces us wide, slams the door shut, but we're going to go back down the inside late move and keep the place from the Red Bull. But Perez is eyeing us up again. As we go into the final corner, Perez up the inside of us goes Sergio Perez at the final corner. We try and hold it around the outside, but Perez looks to be through and will have the DRS as well. We're going to cut into his slipstream, use his slipstream, but Max Verstappen now sailing around the outside of us. We've been mugged by the Red Bulls as well. This is not fun at all. Through goes Perez. We just about keep Max behind. And now as we head down into the next corner, we've locked up, we've gone deep, we've gone deep, and there's an Aston Martin there in the middle of the track. The safety cars out, we've lost our front wing. So has Max Verstappen. And it's all changed in the space of a corner. The safety car is out, we're going to have to box, we're going to fall down the field. And what has happened here? Lance Stroll all on his own, lights up the rear tyres. And we had absolutely nowhere to go, we were unsighted because of the Red Bull of Perez. And we did go deep. This is on board with Max Verstappen, who's hit us in the process and wiped off his front wing. He couldn't really do anything there. We were bouncing off the Aston Martin. And you can see here we were unsighted from Perez after going deep. And then there's just an Aston Martin sat in the middle of the track. And once again, it's all gone wrong for us. No points in Monza. No points last time out in Japan. And we're staring at no points here in the in Qatar, yes we've got points from the sprint but in terms of the actual Grand Prix it's looking not too good currently as we change our front wing we're going to go on to the mediums that will hopefully get us to the race at 19 laps and look how we're falling to the back as everyone goes past us and we're only out ahead of Lawson in the AlphaTauri and all the way down then in P16. How one slight issue, one safety car can change the face of a Grand Prix as at the end of lap 12 we're getting ready to go racing again in Qatar. We need to clear these one by one very quickly, one car at a time, and let's just see where we can end up in the end. We haven't got the pace today, a single point would do me today, anything would do me, because the championship does look like it's slipping away. As we go racing again in Qatar, Hamilton leads from Fernando Alonso from the two McLarens. As we head it down the pit straight, we're on the back of Valtteri Bottas in the Alfa Romeo. He tries to cover us off. We're going to go to the outside and sail around the outside. He's on the hard tyres. He tried to force us wide, but we had the extra grip on these mediums. Next up now is Science. He's had 
a very long Sunday after that sprint as we forced in wide and factory Bottas now is seen an opportunity to overtake the Ferrari next up is Albon in the Williams we can ascend it late down the inside at turn one and get the job done on the Williams he's gonna try and fight it a bit but he couldn't fight it for long enough and we do get ahead next up the horse of Magnussen we need to dispatch him fairly quickly and that is what we're going to try and do but we're just too far back and now it's going to be hard to find an opportunity to overtake but we're going to go for the George Russell line down the inside just like he did in real life uh, Magnussen tries to keep the pin round the outside he's still there Magnussen but we get the exit and that gets us up into P12 we just need one car at a time. That's all we need to do for Stappen and Piastri now in front of us, going wheel to wheel. Piastri on the hards, and we've seen a chance to sneak up the inside of the McLaren. Piastri's gonna fight it though into turn two. We keep the pin round the outside and get past the Australian driver. Next up is Max Verstappen, has been sent it laid up the inside. The Alpine has run wide as well. And we've got the Alpine, we've got both of them, as it is Ocon, a V. The Stappen and Ocon looks to have got ahead, and we're into the points now, down the inside of Joe. We go, and we're up into P9, and look who is up next, George Russell in the Mercedes. This has to be done, we have to get this done. We try to the outside, we're going to go to the inside, George covered it off. This could be a championship, the final move, we're so far behind in the championship now. We try and go to the outside, we're trying absolutely everything. But George is making that Mercedes very, very wide. On to that 20 now, around the outside, of course, he's getting DRS as well, off the Ferrari and Gasly. So are we, so we're stuck in a bit of DRS train, but we just can't find a way past our championship rival. As we head down now, we may have half a chance, we're going to send it late up the inside. But we're too far back and George slams the door shut. As he, the safety car's kind of helped him out, as he's on the back and Gasly now goes to the outside of Gasly. As we're going to try and send it late, we're going to break later, try and go to the outside now, get the exit, try and cut it back and finally we're going to send it late up the inside and it's taken so many laps longer than I wanted it to but finally we're past our championship rival George Russell, our fellow Britain, now we're on the back of Gasly who we're going to send late up the inside and get Gasly as well up into P6 now but Gasly's fighting back, but we keep at the place. Next up is Charles Leclerc and Sergio Perez isn't too far up the road as well. Can we still get P4 in this race? Is it possible as Gasly now fighting with us? We're struggling to break the DRS and us pushing Gasly wide has allowed Leclerc has allowed George to have a look. But Gasly, well done, fends him off. As Gasly and George going at it again to the outside goes George round the outside we're strong we now are, have pulled away George at the inside it looks like this time he may have got it done and he has as now this is Leclerc and Perez we were struggling to catch these we got away from George as Leclerc gets past the Red Bull of Sergio Perez into P4 as now Liam Lawson just two laps to go the Alfa Tauri's engine has popped the Honda engine and he's pulling off and out of the Grand Prix our first retirement with just two laps to go and now on to the final lap we've been eating away at Perez but we just couldn't get within it that magical one second Leclerc not that far up the road but Perez has a little wobble there and we've got a good exit to sneak up the inside of the Mexican driver and we're up into P5 in this race. It's now I thought P4 was possible, it wasn't to be in the end by a lot of things but this man once again is back to back wins for Fernando Alonso 
and it's going to be Hamilton who just gets over the line ahead of Norris. Down the inside there in the final corner, Perez has got us at the inside. We're going to get the exit from Perez with the DRS. It's going to be twice that we've been beaten on the line here in Qatar. We finished the race in P6. Aston Martin's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the biggest names in the sport. Making their way out onto the podium now as we speak, and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them. So that's been your Qatar Grand Prix and what a race it turned into. Looked a bit painful in the early stages but that safety car really spiced it up in the end. Fernando Alonso, your winner, back to back wins. We gained some points on George, finishing P6, him P7. That was a very crucial move in the middle part of the Grand Prix. One and only retirement being Lawson and Aaron Barnes finishing all the way down in P20 we might as well just ignore him at this point and now though with just three races and a sprint to go the gap between us and George is just five points the sprint has very much helped us out this weekend and it really is heating up now could we be getting a title decider in Las Vegas it looks like it could be going that way but we'll see when we get there down at the back I'll give it to Aaron Barnes he's actually jumped Sergeant Fittipaldi and Lawson so I'll give him history there in terms of the constructors then it's a very very big gap now for, to catch Mercedes it's done the constructors is done p2 we'll still do but we'll see still three races to go we'll see how close we can keep the gap to mercedes i hope you enjoyed this video very up and down weekend we're going to mexico now with the championship very much heating up and i'll see you then goodbye